This is ABC 7 News at 7, your Suncoast News. We're here for you. Good evening, everyone. I'm Alan Cohn, and welcome to ABC 7 at 7. Topping our news tonight, this is why parents worry when they put their kids on the school bus every day. Some Manatee County parents are calling for more security after, after a 27-year-old man was able to board a school bus with high school students. A shirtless Eric Hall got on the bus yesterday. He has faced nearly a dozen criminal charges since 2012 and is suspected of committing a burglary earlier the same day. Those burglaries were in the same area where he boarded the bus. So we're looking in to that now to see whether or not he is connected to a burglary in that area. Usually, you know, the same kids are getting on the bus all the time, and, you know, I wouldn't even think that anyone like that would even get on there, or, but now that it's happened, you know, it's, it's kind of scary. School buses are equipped with security cameras. The district says the driver handled the situation professionally by taking the man to Manatee High School to be questioned. Hall is facing charges of trespassing on school property. Sarasota County is beginning a program of testing local mosquitoes for the Zika virus. The testing will begin within the next three weeks. If the virus is detected, treatment of infected areas could begin within 24 hours. One of the goals that we have is not only to be able to test more mosquitoes, but to be able to test them at a much higher sensitivity for mosquito-borne viruses and to do it in a much faster turnaround time so that we can uh, help the public. Governor Rick Scott is going to Washington, D.C. on September 8th to pressure members of Congress to hold a vote on funding to combat the virus. Forbes magazine is ranking the city of Northport as one of the best areas for job growth. Northport came in as the 10th best area in the country for new jobs. The number of new hires in the city has increased. 3 to 6 percent annually in recent years. That include, list also includes Sarasota, Bradenton, and four other Florida cities, topping the list, including Orlando, Naples, and Cape Coral. Now to Venice, where the city's new library is beginning to take shape. The old Venice Library closed earlier this year because of mold problems. Now, the Hamilton Condominium Building will become the temporary home of the library. The interior of the building has been gutted and shelving has been put into place. The county says it hopes to open the location to the public in late September or early by October. And we certainly hope not, but a tropical disturbance. The potential has become Tropical Storm Hermione next week. An emergency management officials on the Sun Coast are keeping a close eye. Officials say it is important not to be complacent about severe weather. They advise you to know your evacuation route, stock up on supplies like drinking water, and have a hurricane plan, plan in place. And now for the latest on the weather, we go to ABC7 meteorologist Steve Newman. How is it looking, Steve? Well, Bob Harrigan and I are going to be keeping a close eye on this right on through the weekend, and as well as everyone else on our ABC7 weather team. But it doesn't look like it's going to be a significant storm. I mean, not a big windmaker, but we could be wrong. So we need to keep posted on this as we will update the forecast all week and weekend. It would be next Monday, Tuesday uh, into early Wednesday, the heaviest rain, and I think rain is going to be the biggest problem. We broke a record today. The high 97 broke the previous record of 96 set back in 1989, and currently it is still humid out, 87 with a dew point of 75. East wind at 8. That east wind is going to do nothing but increase as this storm approaches. Now, if we look at it, it's uh, swirling around Hispa not even swirling. It doesn't have a central circulation, but the uh, computer models are all indicating, most of them, that it's going to enter the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, not indicating any strength here, but uh, it's probably going to be a minimal tropical storm if I were to pay guess right now. But it's going to also encounter a lot of warm water. It could undergo explosive development. But this is the European model, which I believe is the gold standard. While it didn't do very well early on with this storm, by Tuesday morning you can see its position that probably a tropical storm off the coast of Florida, but that position brings in a lot of heavy rain. So we could get a two days, maybe three days of heavy rain with multi-inch between three and seven inches over the sun coast before that moves up into the southeast and dissipates. The RPM computer forecast model has a little drop out there, but we can see it swirling over the Bahamas, and that right there is when it encounters warm water 
over the latter part of the weekend and less uh, uh, problems with dry air. So th at that point right there, we will know by late Sunday or Saturday, I think, uh, the future development of that storm and the real threat it poses to the Sun Coast. Bob Harrigan, of course, will update the forecast tonight at 11. But right now it looks like Monday, Tuesday, the greatest chance of heavy rain. Hopefully we will dodge the bullet on this, uh, but it is going to be a lot of rain on what uh, our primary day. Primary day, and I wonder how that's going to affect uh, turnout. Well, we'll see. All right, thanks a lot, Steve. And still to come, turning motels into f affordable apartments, Harvey Bengroff is helping give people on the Sun Coast a place to live. We get to know the man behind the four rent T-shirt. That story when we come back. ABC 7 News at 7, weeknights. Just because someone grows older, does that mean they have to grow apart from their friends or from the things they love to do? With Right at Home, it doesn't. Right at Home's professional team thoughtfully selects caregivers to help with personal care, housekeeping, meals, and most of all, staying engaged in life. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Are you ready to go? Oh, I sure am. We can provide the right care right at home. Is your mop a dirty, disgusting mess? You need the Hurricane 360 Spin Mop System, the only mop and bucket that spins the dirt away. A system that cleans practically anything and everything with super absorbent microfiber. Dip it in the washer side and the mess releases into the bucket. Then place it in the dryer side and push on a pedal. You get a clean mop head that's practically dry and ready for more. And your hands will never again touch a dirty, disgusting mop. The heads are washable and reusable. Get the Hurricane 360 Spin Mop System System for just two payments of $19.99. You'll also get a Sticky Buddy, the reusable sticky roller that picks up pet hair and lint and washes clean in seconds. You can take advantage of our two-for-one pick-it-up special and get a second spin mop set. Just pay additional shipping and fee. And we'll upgrade you to free priority handling. So don't wait. Order now. Call 1-800-394-1524 to get your Hurricane Spin Mop double offer. So hurry and call 1-800-394-1524. Call now. You have heard the expression, give a man a fish he eats for a day, teach a man to fish he eats for a lifetime. Tonight, a closer look at the Pied Piper for those looking to improve their lives. ABC 7's Ray Collins has a peek behind the scenes at Harvey Venroth. He, he might be the most low-key guy you'll ever see, but he's not here to impress you. He's just here to help you. We have a pool. This is, I didn't even know y'all had a pool here. Gabriella is leading Mary and her son to what might be their next home. So then basically I can get myself in this one and then when those are ready I can then... As long as your background is good. Yeah. It's not a mansion, just a former motel room, but Mary sees opportunity. And don't overlook the person showing off the studio right. apartment. Okay. That smile from Gabriella right. gives Thanks. insight into a 25-year-old woman who has been to hell and back. I have nightmares of the things I've been through, but being in here just... It's amazing. Yes, yes, it's a 625 a month, 625 deposit. Gabriella is working at Robin's Apartments, a former motel in Bradenton that still has the Chamber of Commerce brochures by the door. I love being here. You know, I enjoy working and assisting people that come in and looking for the help at the same help I needed it. Whether it's Gabriella, who has recently over her demons, or Valerie, who's 15 years out, they all credit one person. It's that guy in the red shirt. He's not a prospective renter. He owns the place. In fact, Harvey Vengroff owns 1,600 apartments in Sarasota and Manatee County, from converted motels to three-bedroom houses. He says he has hundreds of names on a waiting list. He could increase the prices, but he's not trying to make a lot of money. He's already worth tens of millions of dollars. His biggest goal is to help that working class person to find a place to live who otherwise can't afford to make ends meet. Working people that can't afford um, to, to live in a community that has high rents and high prices. That's supposed to keep the birds off that. When he's not working, this former New Yorker is on his sailboat six or seven days a week. He and his camera shy wife have sailed up and down the East Coast. He finds the sailboat the one place he can relax and think. Some people go to church, I go out on the water and uh, talk to myself. He's got a lot to think about. He's the one also building 393 apartments off Fruitville Road, again aimed at those who work but can't afford to make ends meet. He doesn't come asking for a handout. 
He's looking to do something. He doesn't want the government to be in his way. To the, so to the extent we can, we get out of his way and let him do what he does best. For Harvey, there's no ego involved and no desire for recognition. They asked me to speak in uh, Washington for a conference on, on how to do affordable housing. And I said, no thanks. <laughs> you have to dress up. Yeah, I have to wear a jacket and tie. <laughs> When's the last time you wore a jacket and tie? Um, I, I think it was my dad's funeral. <laughs> Harvey is just Harvey, and none of his supporters would like anything different. Uh, he had me at hello. He's just so under the radar, and but just so passionate. He could have named it Harvey's Place. It was an honor that he named it after me, and I was just a little part of the puzzle. He's just um, a unique individual because, again, he's unassuming, and he doesn't want any of the attention. He just wants to do the right thing and help people's lives. And he's just doing it all quietly within the parameters, following all the rules, and making sure that he gives back to the community. All these good looking people around here, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Harvey is helping people rebuild their lives and Gabriella couldn't be happier. Feel proud now and you know, family, uh, thinking different and feeling different about me. When I first saw him, I thought he was dressed down that day, but he always dresses down. That's just Harvey. As for Vengroff Village on Fruitville Road, construction could start later next year. Ray, thanks a lot. And when we come back, more on Harvey Vengroff with our roundtable. Welcome to the all-new Seymour Buick GMC on the island of Venice. Seymour smiles. Seymour selection of quality new and pre-owned vehicles. Seymour for your trade-in. Seymour savings. Step up to GMC and get cash back for up to 12% of the MSRP on these select 2016 GMC vehicles. That's over 9,300 cash back on this Yukon. See more now at Seymour Buick GMC on the island of Venice. Go to SeymourBuickGMC.com. This is a special health alert for seniors suffering with joint pain. If you have Medicare insurance, you may qualify for high quality support braces at little or no cost. I'm thrilled with my knee braces. Now, there is a simple and proven solution for seniors to get out of pain with state-of-the-art support braces. I barely feel any pain at all. Braces for your knees and back, as well as your shoulders and ankles, too. I'm so happy with the quality of these braces. Call now, and you could qualify for a pain-relieving brace at little or no cost. I can play ball again, and it doesn't hurt. And because of my Medicare coverage, it costs me next to nothing. So call now. Because I have this red, white, and blue Medicare card, my braces have cost me just about nothing. It's true. You may get a knee, back, shoulder, and ankle brace at little or no cost. They qualified me for two knee braces and a back brace. If you have knee or back pain, give them a call. They can help. 1-800-476-8967. 1-800-476-8967. The official salon of ABC7. Joining us for more on Harvey Vengroff is Valerie Guillory, Executive Director of Trinity Without Borders, Gabriela Rodriguez. She lives and works at Robert's Apartments and Travis Vengroff, Harvey Sun. And welcome to all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Travis, let me start with you. What motivates your dad? Um, I guess a while back, uh, we had a bunch of employees who were working for our collection agency, Vengroff Williams. We have a call center in town. and. They, have a difficult, they were having a difficult time finding somewhere to live. We had people commuting as far uh, northeast as an hour and a half, like almost Orlando, and a lot of people who still regularly have to commute from Northport to get to work just because they want to find a place where they can have a house. So w our goal is really uh, to find a place that our employees could work and, and live you know, nearby from where they work. And that really is the story of, of Sarasota, is it not? You, this is one of the most affluent communities in the, the country, but it is very difficult for people who are middle income, let alone, let alone trying to get back on their feet to find some place to, to live. Isn't that true? Alan, um, just to uh, 
speak on what Travis was saying. I think that one of the other things that has motivated Harvey was the social services agencies actually asking him to step in as long as as well as uh, public officials asked him to step in and help with the housing situation. Uh, as you might know, he and his wife had been headed for retirement and like almost literally turned that sailboat around and came back and asked what could they do to help with housing in our area. And not just you know, not just assisting with the housing, but by providing the housing that jump-started the agencies and the public officials to really start buying into, hey, how do we solve this problem with private enterprise? So, you know, Harvey has really started an amazing event where you see the agencies, you see the public officials, and you see businesses partnering to try to help with the problem. But, you know, there's been so much frustration in both Sarasota and Manatee counties about, um, the lack of affordable housing and the uh, inability of local government to actually step up to the task and, and uh, assist or at least create an environment where this uh, this could happen. And even just a couple of weeks ago, it seems, that uh, your, your dad was in a situation where he wanted to do something in Sarasota and he wound up leaving a, a city council uh, commission meeting uh, angry. You know, the Manatee folks, it appears, or welcome what he does, but he has gotten some pushback or at least not the help that he he wanted to get there's been a lot of pushback it I can't be uh, understated I guess um, we keep getting hit with uh, I'm trying to think of the word to use um, it's we've been given a lot more difficulties in uh, permitting and trying to convert one of the apartments at 4900 Tamiami it's called Oak Ridge right. they've given us uh, no shortage of hassle they said oh the glass that you know, it's been here forever, isn't fireproof, so you have to change out all the windows with fireproof glass. Oh, your pool, well, the survey says it's moved by a few feet. And we're, no, we're pretty sure it hasn't moved in the last 50 years. The pool's been here, and they wanted us to pay for another survey to verify that the pool hadn't moved. And they wanted and, inspections at a, a rate that was quite unusual. Yeah, and it's every step of the way has been an uphill battle trying to do something decent. And we have uh, people... Uh, who live across the street in sort of the more affluent uh, side on the bay who thought it was going to be a problem when we took over the hotel and they were a little iffy on it. Then when they saw what we did, they've been really happy with it. And they've continued. To, they, there's a cafe in the front, the Sunnyside Cafe, and they eat there and they, uh, they see the property and they see what it's become and they're pretty happy. And even the police have stopped by on a number of occasions and told us thank you for cleaning this place up. It really wasn't a nice place to be prior to our occupation. Hey, Gabrielle, well, let me get you into the conversation because uh, this is not only where you work uh, now, but you, your life would be in a different place if it not for this opportunity. Yes, it has changed my life in a lot of ways. Um, Trinities Without Borders, I describe it in my own words as there's nothing that can stop you from becoming who you, who you want to be in life. You know, from having a job, from getting your family back, from get, getting out of the drugs, getting out of the streets. I describe it in my own words. That's, that's what it means to me. You know, um, I, can't, I got out from my halfway house, and I never thought that I was gonna, going to have a place to stay after I got out of there. I was struggling myself. You know, I was like, wow, you know, I lost my family. I lost my kids. So now I see myself, like, basically in the streets. You know, I went to um, Valerie, you know. And I was upfront with her, you know. I told her, hey, listen, you know, my background is like this, like this, like this. And she was like, well, there's anything else I have to know about you? Because if I go to your background, there's something you're not telling me. You know, we're not on the same page. So I told her everything, you know. I went to cry in that moment because it, like, it was difficult for me to get an apartment, to get a job, even to have friends or family. Right, and we did, we did a series of stories back in May showing the difficulty in finding affordable housing in both Sarasota and, and Manatee counties. And, and Valerie, we, we still haven't gotten local government to step up. Uh, what, do you, what do you see in terms of the landscape here, in terms of, of both counties uh, making this a little bit easier? I mean, it just can't be one man and one company that is is uh, doing this? Uh, you know, uh, I see it happening without local government one way or the other. The need is so, t is so strong that it's happening either way. But let me tell you, when Gabriella was at the desk trying to get a place to live, 
I took her hand and I said, you know, you're the kind of person this place was created for. And within two or three weeks, she's up and running and on her feet, her and her per the person she's with working and, and living productive lives. Um, but I want to say this also. Harvey has, you know, I'm able to provide a second chance for people. Harvey has provided a second chance for my organization to be able to reach out to people like Gabriel. He's given us the opportunity to learn how to manage properties and buy another property that we were given. You know, we were given the Cabana Inn a year ago. So we learned how to do that in a very basic way there. And through, the, through this time, Harvey has had his team helping us to do the infrastructure there and to understand management there and preparing us as an organization to become self-sustainable by you know, preparing us for the last year and then actually letting us have site control of this property and be able to operate it. Travis, tell us what, what folks don't know about your dad. Obviously, he owns a collection business down here, but you're originally from uh, New York. How did he make his money? And even before he arrived on the Sun Coast, was he involved in this kind of effort to help those who need the kind of help that he would later provide. Sure. Um, as a family, uh, my dad made uh, our money in collections, the collections industry. And uh, I guess we needed somewhere to put it, somewhere to invest it in real estate seemed like a, an interesting idea he'd heard of when he was in his 20s. And uh, the area of real estate that he really looked at that seemed like the biggest opportunity, one that other people wouldn't look at, one that people wouldn't talk to, is the affordable or economic workforce housing sector. When you've got People who have nowhere else to go, uh, if the market goes absolutely down the drain at the end of the year or you know whenever, there will still be a need for these places. There's a still a need for safe, clean, affordable apartments. So make no mistake, and we're running out of time, your, your dad is still making money on this, but yeah. he is not, like many other companies, unfortunately, trying to gouge uh, the, the, the people who are looking for a place to live. Absolutely. We had an offer on one of our apartment complexes that would have uh, easily tripled the rent if we'd said, yes, here's the property, enjoy. And it would have put a bunch of nurses who are at uh, Sarasota Memorial and living across the street, they would have had nowhere to go. All right, we have to leave it there. Valerie, Travis, Gabriella, thanks for being here tonight. And your comments when we come back. Whether you're a homeowner looking for a professional installation or a contractor looking for top quality products, Sarasota Glass & Mirror can meet your every need. For 42 years, Sarasota Glass & Mirror has been the area's premier supplier and installer of quality glass products for your home or business. As an authorized PGT WinGuard dealer, we know how to protect your home. With everything from the PGT WinGuard impact-resistant windows and doors to shower enclosures and decorative mirrors, the Sarasota Glass & Mirror team has the knowledge to tackle any project. Attention, this is an important message for anyone who had an IVC filter placed to prevent blood clots from traveling to their heart or lungs. Did your IVC filter move, break, or cause organ damage. The FDA warns that IVC filters may cause serious complications, such as heart or lung damage, internal bleeding, even death. If you or a loved one suffered serious complications, call IVC Filter Helpline now. You may be entitled to compensation. IVC filters are designed to prevent blood clots. If your IVC filter moved or broke, and you suffered heart or lung damage, internal bleeding, or if a loved one died as a result, call IVC Filter Helpline today. Today, our network of experienced attorneys is ready to fight for you. You'll pay nothing unless there's a recovery in your favor. Call today for a free confidential consultation. Don't fight this alone. Call IVC Filter Helpline now. Please call 800-897-6764. That is 800-897-6764. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. We promise we're more than a dealership. We're a destination with a movie theater, massage room, aquarium, cafe, and more. We promise to give you top dollar for your trade, even if you don't buy from us. And if you do, we promise you the best deal. Bring us any competitor's ad and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. Don't miss the Weddings of Sarasota 16th Annual Wedding Show at the iconic Sarasota Municipal Auditorium on US 41, Sunday, August 28th from noon to 4 p.m. The runway show is on the stage at 3 p.m. Enjoy hors d'oeuvres and live entertainment. $2,000 in Weddings of Sarasota dollars will be given away after the runway show, but you must be present to win. Make sure to pre-register at WeddingsofSarasota.com. Brides and grooms are free if registered by midnight August 26th. Guests only $5. Weddings of Sarasota. Register today. 
Welcome back. Yesterday, Donald Trump brought his campaign for president back to the Tampa Bay area, and we spoke to him one-on-one. -on -one. Trump told us he'll be pushing for a vote on Zika funding. He also says he is working to reach out to minority voters. Here is what you have to say about Donald Trump. Billy Brooks Jr. writes, he can speak to a local news anchor and yet not speak to black media or a room full of black individuals. Carol Iveson writes, why am I voting for Trump? Well, I will condense it to one, do I like the way he presents himself? Uh, no. Two, do I think he is a successful businessman? Yes. Three, do I think he knows the ins how the insiders work? Yes. And Charlene Klinger writes, everything that comes out of his mouth is a lie. How could anyone vote for that? Well, if you'd like to join the conversation, just uh, join our Facebook page at facebook.com slash news at 7. And we have a big announcement. We are happy to announce that beginning on Monday, ABC 7 at 7 will be expanding to a full hour. If you are looking for who wants to be a millionaire, it is moving to mornings at 10 to 11. And that is all the time we have for this evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Alan Cohn. Have a great night.